Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I am going to review Sony's Venom movie. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that bell notification. I put out videos daily. So I just came back from seeing the Sony version of their Marvel film, Venom. And those of have, who have been following me on the channel know I'm not a big fan of how Sony's been running their Marvel properties. And, you know, I don't think they get it at the end of the day. I think they're trying to establish a cinematic universe, but kind of doing it in a lower quality mode, you know, Venom being the first one and so forth and so on. So if I may make a, re make a recommendation, if you're going to see this, go into this not thinking it's going to be a comic book movie. Venom is a Venom movie, almost essentially in name only. It is, now here's the big news. It's not terrible but that doesn't mean it's good. It straddles that line where I feel it is a solid B-movie picture. You know, they don't make any, they don't try to make allusions necessarily to a bigger world out there. You know, you're now part of a bigger world, Mr. Venom, that kind of thing. We get a B-movie story and very little else. It's not horrible. Uh, uh, there are a lot of critics that are saying it's something of a throwback to the 90s. And while I can kind of see where they're going with it, there are some genuinely okay, good moments in the movie. The characterization of Eddie Brock and Venom are probably the highlight of the film. Uh, I would say about 90% of it works. There's a couple, a couple things that dialogue wise between the two of them get a little you know cringe worthy uh especially near the end but believe it or not that dynamic of Brock and a symbiote is actually probably the best part of the movie now the other characters are they're not nearly as well fleshed out and that becomes more apparent towards the end especially with the film's quote unquote villain who it's just weird to me when a symbiote talking is referring to another symbiote as riot. That's odd. Or a symbiote is re naming himself Venom. Or it's just it, that kind of it, it didn't come off naturally. It came across as oh, this was the tie, This was the the name I I was given by my comic book creator. So we have to insert it into the film. If, in fact, it would have actually been cooler if they didn't even use those names at all. I think I think it would kind of spoke volumes. The, Michelle Williams does a good job. Uh, she has some stuff to do, but not a whole lot. And most times she's, you know, kind of just off screen doing her thing. But go, I, as I said, it's not a bad movie. What's happening over in Sony is a thing that, whether it's going to be a long-term or short-term, this is what we're dealing with now. We're dealing with them trying to establish some sort of spiderless Spider-Man universe. It still boggles my mind to this day how that's going to be a thing. But go into this, and as I said, don't go into this thinking you're going to see a bunch of Easter eggs, you're going to see references to the MCU, Nothing, I, I, there are maybe one or two references to sp the Spider-Man universe. There's not a direct reference to, to Tom Holland. He does not appear in the picture whatsoever. That was just a rumor. And it, it, it's okay. It's an okay film for what it is. As I said, if you are, you could have, you could have taken this exact movie, not even name dropped Venom, and I think it would have been an okay B movie.
But because it has that added weight of being a Marvel film, once again, this is in association with Marvel, so it's not really a Marvel film. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean. So, at the end of the day, did I enjoy it? Eh. I've seen worse recently. And if this came out on top of those films, I call it a win, I guess. It's, it's nothing... It's nothing more than what it is. And that is a B movie. It's, you know, on par with like something Michael Bay would crank out like Transformers wise or, you know, something along like that. But it's not inherently terrible. And there was a few times there were, there were some great moments. Once again, all the best moments are with Venom and Eddie Brock. Tom Hardy is, I, I love Tom Hardy. I'm a big fan. And he was, he is one of the main reasons I went to go see this movie. And, you know, whatever the future holds for it, uh, if, if, they're, if it's going to relatively bomb at the box office or whatever, he was a good Brock and he was a good Venom. I'm, I will give him that. And it's, once again, just go into it not thinking of a comic book film. Go into it thinking you're going to see a action, sci-fi, cheesy B-movie and have a good time with it. You know, I, I know us fans like everything, you know, to to live up to our dreams. And as long as you go in with the right mind frame and right, you know, expectations, just enjoy it. It's it's not as bad as, as all the critics are making it out to be. Trust me, I've seen worse recently. And this is not even close. Yes, the villain is very forgettable. Actually, I... I it's just it was kind of terrible and there are a few a few things i didn't like were when a movie establishes rules and then throws them out the window uh this happens big time they spend like a, the first half of the movie saying this is a rule and then at the end it's no longer a rule and oh i think we missed a few things too it's it's it, there's a lot of that and but it, it shouldn't it doesn't take you too much out of the movie and it's it's a it's stupid fun. You know, go in, go in, go have a good time, sure. You know, not everything has to be, you know, we're, we're in a Sony slash Marvel thing here. It's not going to be the Disney Marvel. So they're, you've got to hold them to different rules. And as long as you go into it not expecting much, just let yourself go and... I think you'll have a good time. It's it, uh, the theater I was in was pretty full. There was there was laughter. Uh, there you know, there wasn't any kind of like rah rah cheering moments or anything. But I think the audience in general that I saw the movie with was having a good time. And at the end of the day, isn't that the important thing? You know, one day the whole Marvel Sony thing might change, and you know Marvel can get all their properties back under one roof. But until then, this is not the worst thing you can see this year. So that's pretty much going to do it. Uh, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that bell notification. I do put out videos daily. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.